we're back! What's going on guys? Jake here again and today is February the 28th now. It's the last few days of February now. I'm just doing uh, the gaming setup and room tour for this month. I thought about not doing it for a while uh, and then figured that March would be a better month but I would put one up for this month and next month anyway because next month is going to have a lot of good videos, content, just normal good stuff in there. Uh, so Quick reminder to anybody who doesn't know, YouTube will not be accessible on February 29th, 30th, and 31st. We'll go ahead and get started right on to the gaming setup as soon as we get past this. Now this is the closet. I got all my crap in here. Game over shirt. Uh, my brother had this for a while, now I have it. Violators will be shot, survivors will be shot again. In the closet we got Nerf guns! And other crap, I know you guys don't want to see that. I have work stuff down here, cleaning stuff, stuff for Zeus. Uh, CDs, old games, good stuff, snowboarding goggles, axe from Halloween, stuff like that, khakis, just because of Jake from State Farm joke. Moving on in the back corner over here, we have my graduation cap, and right next to that and above it, we have two things. First of all, we have Orchrist. This is the Sword of Thorn Oakenshield from the Hobbit movies. Uh, he found it in the first one. It was actually wielded by um, the son of Ecthelion, uh, and that is said on, over here on the Certificate of Authenticity. Um, and of course it means Goblin Cleaver. So I sharpened this baby up a little bit. It's not too sharp where you'd cut yourself by doing that, but there is a video of me uh, cutting up fruit in slow motion that's pretty sweet, and you guys can find that on my channel in the T9D 360 playlist. Moving down, we have a piano bench. I take that out for whenever more people come over uh, and they want to sit down. Um, just kind of a usual thing. They just want to sit down, have a place to sit, even if the couch is taken up. I have Arizona here. So these are all filled with empty cans. This one's empty. This one's almost full. Well, not quite. It's only got three cans in there. But basically, I take all of them after I'm done with every single one, pop it in there, and we take it down to the recycling plant. Getting on to the actual gaming setup, guys, this is what we have going here. So first of all, we have two monitors. These two monitors are not available anymore, but I will be happy to provide you with the model. These are LG 24EN43V-Bs. They are 24-inch monitors, ultra slim, 5 millisecond response time, Energy Star approved, super slim. They have a really nice texture on the back, as you guys can see that right there. Right behind we have the subwoofer and I'll go ahead and go into the sound system in just a second. Right over here we have Arizona with a custom CD um, coaster because I like to keep the glass nice and clean. And now into the sound system right over here we have the Logitech Z506. This is a 5.1 uh, speaker surround sound system. We have the main over here that controls the volume and the power. Also has a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. A center speaker here, which actually has some rubber thing on the bottom that you can flip out just like this. You can actually, if it would cooperate, just like that, and you can actually put it on top of a monitor, but I like it just right there. Here's the left. The rear left is over here, kind of wired near the closet right there. It doesn't really give a lot of sound because a lot of stuff that I do is not in surround. So it doesn't really work besides maybe for games such as Titanfall, Crisis 3, and other things that I can optimize for 5.1 surround sound. The rear right is over there, right in that corner. So, other stuff. Something looks really pretty. What is it? It's the Corsair Vengeance RGB K70. Now, I haven't cleaned this thing out. I see some stuff in between A and S right there. It's pretty dusty. I should probably clean it out sooner or later. This keyboard is awesome. Now, it has the Tramp Stamp logo. Nobody likes this logo for Corsair because it's Corsair Gaming and not Corsair. But I actually like it. I don't mind it at all. Um, I wish I pre-ordered it so I would have the version that says uh, Corsair with the sales but I really, really don't mind a ton. Now over here we have the Corsair Gaming MM200. This is a mouse pad that's a decent size. It's about 12 by, I'm gonna say 11 or so. I have the boxes back in the corner. On top of that we have the Corsair M65. Now this is a pretty good mouse. You guys, can, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of that warning right there. Sniper button on the side. You can hold that down for sensitivity changes. On the top, you can ha ha you have a DPI button, so you can change it on the go. And of course, we have a really nice scroll wheel. Very, very nice. 
full uh, aluminum construction, weights on the bottom. I think I'm probably going to get it switched out for the RGB M65 sooner or later. Real quick before we go on to the rest, we have a Logitech C920. This is an HD Pro uh, webcam. You guys can find this on Amazon or Office Max or Office Depot or other places for probably about $70 to $80. Um, it's expensive, but it's worth it because it's got 20-step autofocus, a Carl Zeiss lens. It's really, really nice, and it's definitely worth it with stereo mics especially. So you can get some good sound just from a webcam instead of having one webcam with one little tiny crappy mic and having bad quality sound. Speaking of sound, over here, first of all, we have the AGP Tech uh, mic microphone arm boom. Now, it's not that great. You guys can see it's kind of leaning, uh, and that's pretty much because it can't really support the weight of the Yeti. The Yeti is, Yeti is like a three pound mic. Now, of course, before we get onto the mic, we have the Radius shock mount, also by Yeti. Um, I had to get, actually, an adapter. You can see that ring right there. That's a metal adapter that I had to put on here because it came with a smaller size shock mount that would not work. So the Yeti is on there. It's the black version. You can find an unboxing of that on my channel. It's pretty nice. I use it for Skype, all that other good stuff. Over here, we have the Corsair... Uh, Vengeance 2100. This is a wireless gaming headset on a Cosmo stand that I signed myself just because. It's, it's so good. I love this headset and I'm glad I still have this one instead of the H2100 so it doesn't have that odd logo. And it's not colored. I like everything to be a solid color instead of really funky. The receiver is right back there so as soon as I go into control panel and hit the button on the side it syncs up and I can go ahead and enable those and walk around the house and roam and listen to music and stuff. Really quick right here I have my iPhone 5S. This is the gold, not that it matters, 16 gig, whatever. Gonna go ahead and move on. I have a knife right here, no big deal. Now one of the biggest changes to the gaming setup is this thing right here. This is the Corsair 750D full tower case. Now this thing is ridiculous. It's so, it's so stupid, but it looks so nice. So this is the gaming computer. This is the rendering computer. This is the do everything and, and more computer. Um, this pretty much keeps this entire channel alive, essentially. It does all the rendering, um, provides for good entertainment, good tutorial videos, stuff like that. So the specs. We have a, an ASRock Z97 Extreme 4 motherboard with a 4790K in there, overclocked to about 4.3 gigahertz. Cooled by Corsair H100i that has a push-pull configuration, so you guys can see there are four fans up there. The two that are right here, right here and here, are static pressure, and the ones on the top are airflow. These are gonna be upgraded very, very soon, probably sometime in March. These are GTX 760 graphics cards. They still provide a pretty good gaming experience, even if the 960 came out and is the successor to this card, but it's still, the two of them still pair very well, and I, the highest score I've gotten in Fire Strike has been 10,440, which is awesome. Everything is being powered by a Corsair CX750M modular power supply. We have a bunch of fans in here. We have an SSD way back there that you can't see, and two hard drives, a terabyte, and a 500 gig. Now the LED strips you can find on my channel, these were, uh, Built, these were made by myself actually, at least the mod was done by myself, and you guys can see that on the channel. I missed, we have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM running in, in here at 1866 on the XMP profile. On uh, the front we just have this removable dust filter with this panel that goes on the front, but I like to keep it open so a lot of airflow goes in there. I have my disk drive, of course, my iPhone charger, and on the top we have something you guys haven't seen in a while. This is the NZXT Sentry 2 uh, mesh fan controller, which is really nice. It's controlling everything, so uh, even one, even four, which controls all fans on the radiator, literally controls all four fans on the radiator. We have a magnetic dust filter up here, so we have one fan here and two fans there for the airflows on the radiator, and it's a super super nice case and it's massive but it's awesome. Moving over right underneath we have my tablet stand more or less so we have some multi-surface wipes for the glass, a dragon etched in glass back there that has been in the family for probably about 15 years because it was my brother's, uh, my Kindle. This is where my Chiro Energy uh, pack lies. I put that somewhere. Oh that's right it's in my pocket. Boom! 
This baby uh, is 15 or 12,000 milliamps, so it could charge my iPhone six times before it dies. I'm gonna plug it in right here, really quick. Uh, right next to that, we also you can find an unboxing of this on my channel. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 Lite. It's not that great. I don't use it all the time, but it's certainly, certainly nice to take on the go. Uh, and is pretty fast, actually. Especially when you don't have a lot of things running, it's, it's just, it keeps up perfectly. Here's the snack drawer. You didn't see that. You did not see that. You didn't see that. Down below, we have the BB gun, my OtterBox case, some screwdrivers, some ammo, some uh, mechanical key. Uh, it's actually lubricant, so you can spray it in the keys if you have one that's really stuck. Over here we have my lock box, some paper, a blue box, some CDs, and this is my tech drawer right here. So this has all the adapters, my wire cutters, all the USB fans that I've migrated in the past, a pop filter that I'm yet to put up there because it can't support the weight of another one pound thing up there. Over to the right we have sweet tea, Arizona tea, and Arnold Palmer. I love that stuff. Right on the top we have a mini fridge. This is, I don't remember how many square feet it is exactly. We have some bagels, we got some bagels, and we got some cream cheese. And that's pretty much it for there. On the top we have a lighter, my camera bag, that thing of shells that I've all fired off. My mug from school when I graduated high school with some pens and stuff in the top tape measure. On the back wall, I forgot to mention, we have a hand-painted thing back there by my mother-in-law, who's really great. I have another one at the other side of the room. It's not up on the wall, but it's there. We have a Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies poster right there, and we have a Hobbit, the Unexpected, an Unexpected Journey poster right there. So if I get one for the second movie, that one will move over, and the one for the second movie will go right there, and that one will be moved over a little bit, so it's going to be a Hobbit wall. It's going to be awesome. Uh, over here, oh, first of all, desk lights everything you guys see in this video is pretty much going to be linked in the description down below besides the case maybe some other stuff maybe i'll get that in there last minute the light strip around the desk is rgb you can find this on amazon it's going to be in the description again it's called the super night led strip kit uh, the one in there in the description is for 25 dollars it includes the full package so it has the IR sensor that's taped underneath the desk right here. Uh, that was my electrical fault. I had to cut the wires and splice them wrong, and then I soldered them back together. There's the power adapter right back there, and of course it comes with this handy dandy remote that can make us trip out for ages. Perfect. Now yeah, I'll go to flash. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want steady white, steady white, and then I want to flash. No. No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Steady white. Steady white. We'll stay on that one. Over here, we have some stuff. We have some planes and stuff. Have some uh, head. This is just earphones for when, ear muffs for when I go shooting. Uh, I shoot 45, um, 38, 22, uh, 357, all that good stuff. Over here, we have something. You guys can find an unboxing of these on my channel. These are the Sony. Tone Pros. They are Bluetooth. Uh, it's a Bluetooth headset. You can use it for music uh, and calls as well, which is really sweet. They're kind of sitting on top of this Archon desk uh, or tablet mount. It's actually for your car. I decided to put it under here so when I pull the futon out, I could put my phone right there when I sleep, set the alarm, all that good stuff, and it's right there and I don't have to worry about it falling off the bed. Up here we have a USB, a custom USB fan coaster. Yes, it's a coaster. I put this up here and you guys can set drinks on top or whoever comes over can set drinks on top of there, which is really neat. I have an Autobots ring. This was on eBay uh, probably about two, three years ago for about 16 bucks. I think it's stainless steel. I have a baseball signed by Rocky, or former Rocky. Wasn't that great, but he was pretty cool. He, uh, he was right there, so I figured I'd get his autograph when I had the chance. We have the modem for Xfinity right here, uh, as well as the coaxial cable right out the wall, and then the ethernet cable, which is all bundled right there. It's, it's massive, it's stupid massive. We also have a Philips NFC. This is a Bluetooth speaker. Actually, really, really nice. It was expensive, but it's really, really nice. Moving on up, we got some lightsabers. We got some trophies. We got my diploma. Uh, all this is these. I don't make these anymore. Uh, I really, really wish I do, and I might in the future. I'm going to open up this window here. There we go. 
um, but I might, I'm not sure. Uh, I have something that I'm also gonna show you guys here in the next 10 minutes or so. I got mead high thing, it's the thing that you go around your neck. And we go up and we have the creature. The creature, Zeus. All, all hail. Yes, that's Zeus, he's my parakeet, I've had him for a while. He's pretty cool, I'll, I guess I'll open it up and see if he wants to come out. Uh, if, he, if he attacks the camera and I shake it really wildly, don't mind it. Right here I have the American shit box. So when he sits up on the American flag, all his poop doesn't get on the glass, but it gets in the box, which is really nice. Over here we got some keys, got a keychain, a bullet, uh, spare house keys, a thing from Disney World that my brother got me, and a thing from Cozumel, Mexico that one of my other friends got me. And we have balls all along the window. Uh, I want to get these again, but they are uh, probably all out because Frozen CPU um, does not have any orders processing right now, and that's where I always got them. So maybe more on that in the next few days, but I'm not sure. That is the bomb, it's so good. It's like Sprite, but it's just a high Garana energy drink. Uh, that's pretty much it for that corner. So something you guys didn't see in January was this poster right back here. Now this is another poster I got from Four Human Peoples, of course. Now it shows America and it's red, white, and blue and it says, We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And it's just kind of cool. I really, really like it. Uh, and yeah, it looks awesome. Right underneath we have a Razer Nostromo that is still functional, but I don't use it anymore, so I just put it on the wall for display purposes. We have a Corsair static pressure fan, an NZXT performance fan, and a Corsair AF120 airflow fan, or AF140L. Actually, that one came with the with the 750D, and I do not use it, so it's up there. And the last thing we have up here is a little Pentium dual core, which I managed to overclock to about 2.9 to 3.0 gigahertz, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'll probably get rid of that probably tonight, actually, because I don't need that up there anymore. Last thing I have over here is a Chuck poster. This is a show on Netflix. This poster is awesome. And I don't know where you can find it. I actually don't. I think you can find it on Amazon, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, one of my subscribers is actually a really, really good friend of mine who might be coming out in March. So stay tuned for that. There'll be more stuff. Yeah, okay. A really good show on Netflix. Watch it. Seriously, watch it. On the back wall, we have all the boxes for all the computer parts back here. And now we have three processor boxes. We have the 4790K, which was the last the 3570K, which was the first, and the middle was the 3770K. The 3770K is the middle child. Now it's in my parents' build in the other room. There are all the accessories back there, the other CX750M, all this good stuff. Every single one pretty much has something in it. This one has AMD bracket, that one has more cables, all that good stuff. And it's also really, really nice to have and just kind of remind you uh, remind me of the crap that I went through to get all of that and to build the PC behind me. So right here we have Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna stay up a little bit. We have the um, uh, Space Monkey back there. And we have a Keep Calm and Bamf on, signed by Philip DeFranco himself. We have a coat rack, good stuff. We have another fan tower over here. You guys might have noticed that one over there. I can control them with run one remote. Here's my bureau. I got an old uh, motherboard, which I'm going to throw out here very soon, a book by Stephen Hawking. Here's that other painting I mentioned. We got a Walking Dead poster, we got a Minecraft poster, we got a drawing I did five years ago in February, actually February 19th, 2010, and a Dreamcatcher I put back there. Uh, and then we have the futon, which is right here. Of course, we can move it out. We have a set of blue lights that go around it. They're not very bright, so I can't do much about it. But they're kind of neat. We got some boxes, we got a piano under there, we got some 20 pound weights. The chair that I actually just realized that I missed is the Office Max Fausto 2. It's F-A-U-S-T-O and then the number 2. It's a really nice leather chair you can find for about 80 bucks at Office Max or Office Depot. I believe it was Office Max where I got it. Now we're going to go ahead and go on to the last thing of the gaming setup and room tour. I got this last month. Um, well. Yeah, last month, if not the beginning of this month, there's a vlog on it, uh, and it's also in, no, it was January, yeah, it was January. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick, and then I think we're running low on time, so I'll go ahead and cut to the end and give you guys some news, 
and Zeus will say goodbye and we'll be good. So here we go. Turning off the lights. Turning off the lights already. And three, two, one. Yes. Yes. All right, now this is the Anakin Skywalker Revenge of the Sith lightsaber this is awesome this is such a nice replica it's so good like it has clash sounds i don't want to really hit it on the wall too much it's got the clash sounds it's got the power up effect it's got a wave effect sort of it's kind of it's kind of boring it's not like an ultra it's not like an ultra saber it looks really really good on camera you guys can also see that in the vlog that i made about it it's got some sound coming right out of the pommel and it's got that power down effect it's got a power up, and it's got a power down, and it's got a power up, and it's got a power down, and it looks super awesome on the back wall. And I am really tempted to get more of those, because I probably will. I'll probably get like a Mace Windu or something, because Mace Windu is fucking awesome. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I don't think I missed anything. We're running low on time, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Jump over to the channel for other good videos. We got tech, we got unboxings, we got just normal vlogs about my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Zeus says goodbye, and we will see you in some vlogs in March, and then at the end of the month for the gaming setup and room tour, which is going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend, and I will see you guys next time.